Good morning guys, welcome to Living Tomorrow Today. So we are getting ready for our first inaugural, uh, I guess that just means the same thing, <laughs> our first RV trip um, that we're gonna take here locally. It's gonna be our break-in session for the RV. We, uh, we're just gonna go to Lake Tawakani State Park, uh, which is about 30, 35 minutes away from where we live. Uh, right now, we're just loading up stuff into the RV, and then uh, we're gonna start hooking up here in just a second and make our way to the park. So, come along with us. Hey guys, well, we made it to Lake Tawakani. Um, it wasn't that bad of a drive. We were able to upgrade to a sewer site, so that was nice, and we got to check in two hours early. It's not the prettiest day today, but that's okay. We're gonna chalk up. <laughs> All right, up. so we're leveling, we're chalking. Sonora shoving all her stuff in her pockets. <laughs> How dare you? And yes, guys, one of the videos I was very quiet, but I'm not that quiet, I promise. <laughs> you should know what I do. I go crazy like all the time. <laughs> I'm sharing what I do. <laughs> Our first meal in the RV. Okay. It's cold. I'm standing over here like, whew. Nice and warm. Yeah, I think. But I think. What are you doing over there, babe? Because he's no hands. Drink. I just cooked. He's got beer. I got my sparkling, sparkle teeny, peach sparkle teeny. So we're celebrating. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but we were having a problem with the uh, with the heater, the furnace, staying on. I think it's going now. That's the sound we're hearing over there, right? Yeah, and you can smell that burn. Yeah. Burn and burn. Oh, thank goodness. I just turned it on again. Yay, heat's going. And we have a lot to discuss, especially about the Hensley hitch. So we're gonna get all set up because right now we just look like crap and we're hungry and everything, but we'll be back in a few minutes to talk to you about our first setup. And thank goodness we did it on this short little trip and this isn't like <laughs> our first Move. We sold our We're house. We're only and like 30 minutes from home yeah, right now. That would be terrifying, I think, if this is how we were living already. I'd be like, I'm done. Yeah, like, yep, yep. Okay, so let's talk about the first couple of hours that we've been here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's been pretty good. It wasn't that bad. And now. Nah, really, the, the biggest problem was just unhooking from the uh, Hensley. The Hensley. We had a but, hard, um, we Yeah, had but we'll, hard we'll talk about all that. that Apparently, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what have you figured out about inside the RV now that we've been using it for a little bit? Yeah, so I go in with, you know, I go into the bathroom with some towels and I was like, hmm, we have this tiny little cabinet underneath the sink or we have this one little med medicine cabinet up above the sink. And I was like, okay, where do I put the towels? So for right now, they're just flung over the shower. And then I was like, oh, okay, we got enough space in the kitchen. <clears throat> but then I was like, wait. Where do I put all my spices? Where do I put all of that stuff? Where do we put all of our coffee mugs? Cause we have one little cabinet next to the microwave and then all of our other cabinets are down below the sink. That's it. And one of our big cabinets is like right by mine in Eden's bedroom. Yeah. And then our pantry is right next to their room, like she said, by their door. But it's all really long, big, long, you know, there's no shelves in there or anything, so we definitely have to get some shelves in there to divide and help us. Because otherwise the, that whole top space is just empty. Wasted. And the learning point for this was that when we were looking at the RV in the lot, you know, we're, I'm sure Nicole, I mean, more than I was, like is thinking about all these things, but until you actually start to use it, um, that's when you really realize some different, I don't know, you, you realize what you didn't think about, I guess. Yeah. Well, we're like, oh, we're not going to need that much stuff. We're not going to need that much stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I mean, even when you don't have a lot of stuff, it's still a lot more stuff than what you think. Mm -hmm. Like when you, when we were in the RV at the dealership, like it seems that, oh, like there's a lot of space in here, you know, like we can make it work, but it gets small Crowded. really, really fast. Like deer poop. <laughs> like we haven't even Rabbit moved, poop. we haven't even moved in like to live in it full time yet. We just and, have a few random things. Yeah, and it's like, whoosh, like space is filling up really fast. Oh, Take that into consideration when you're looking for an RV if you want a full-time 
space, space, space. I mean, you probably cannot have enough um, storage. storage space. Um, Cabinets, stuff like that. We yeah. need to put locks on the doors so the yeah. Sonora doesn't walk in on me again. <laughs> yeah, she already um, walked in on him while he was peeing. Yeah, she was just <laughs> looking for me and she's like, where's dad? And she walked in, so um, just just things like that. I mean, how to live in an RV mm -hmm. as, a, as a family. And, uh, cooking was nice. Yeah, cooking was nice. You know, it's always nice cooking on with gas. Yeah, you grilled outside, I yeah. cooked inside, and it heated we, up really, really fast. We made burgers outside, so that was yeah. nice. The water comes out really, really hot. Oh, yeah. Like, really hot, so yeah. that's nice. I was worried about that because we didn't have hot water for a while until we turned on the hot water heater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're only a few hours in right now. We've <laughs> yeah. only been here for like four hours or yeah. five hours. So <laughs> we still got a couple more days to go and a lot more time and it's supposed to pour tomorrow. Our heater works really well. Yeah. And our fireplace works. works really well. Yeah, what's the temperature? I think it's, um, it's, it's 39. Feels, feels like, like 36. 36. I knew it. And the fireplace and the furnace in the RV, plus Nicole was cooking, um, it, it got warm inside like i had that heat jacked almost, up to like 85 almost uncomfortably <laughs> warm so it works well that was a big fear of mine was like it says it has heat but is it really gonna work it yeah, worked it, it works. works really well it got a little warm in there we were like oh turn the fireplace down turn the heat down it got warm fast mm -hmm. This is our second day at Lake Tawakini State Park and uh, we just wanted to come and chat with you and uh, kind of let you know how we're feeling um, day two in the RV. We're just some real time like emotions. And yeah, stuff. I mean, and obviously, you know, we're getting ready. We want to full time RV uh, in the summer, but this was our first experience actually staying in an RV. And I guess uh, to sum it up is that we still want to RV, <laughs> but there were some moments where at least I was kind of like... I changed my mind? <sighs> yeah, not that I changed my when mind. When you woke up this morning, what did you say to me? <laughs> I don't remember, I didn't sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you sleep well? Because this this mattress is horrendous. This is we're still using the uh, RV mattress that they gave us. So it's a brand new mattress. It is, is like a came. brick. What time did we go to bed last night? Uh, I went to bed like around nine, I think. We were pretty tired. Yeah, I and mean, I think that's something you don't account for too. Is I think even just emo emotionally, yeah. like doing out all of this and stressing out about the hitch and everything that we were and. Um, I think it just took a lot out of us and we were we were all like in bed the kids too We were all in bed and like laying out laying down at like 8 30 9 o'clock the cooking I think has been going well the kitchen yeah. the I'm We've so glad it. that yeah. we used the outdoor that we opted for the outdoor kitchen We almost went ahead and got the other RV the Volante and no outdoor um, with no outdoor kitchen, but I am really glad that we did get it mm -hmm. um, We've used it several times already since we've been here. So um, and at the same time, actually, while Nicole was inside, I was outside, so he I would recommend the, that. He was cooking the hamburgers outside, while inside I was cooking like the sides and everything. Yeah, so I highly recommend getting the um, outdoor kitchen. Yeah. What, um, what else? The two bathrooms. The two so bathrooms, far, yes. It's been good. Yes. That we can be in here and somebody else can go over there. However, what have we noticed so far? What do we need? We need to build, we need to work around this. We're finding out things that we need to do. So you can be in the bathroom right here and everybody can hear like everybody can hear and so i was like we've all been like we're gonna play loud music while we're in the bathroom or play a loud game or something so that you can't hear what's going on when we're in the restroom we want to kind of test the rv we want to learn its limitations and and that's kind of why we're, we're we're doing stuff like that we're not trying to be overly conservative with everything because we want to know how long it takes to to fill up the gray tanks and, and how long mm -hmm. it's going to take to use up one of our uh, propane tanks. So we're trying to learn the RV. Um, and I may have said this already the other day, but if you have the opportunity to purchase your RV before you hit the road, I think that is a fantastic idea. I'm so glad that we did that. It's I, To me, it's just nice having that comfort of knowing that we're we can make mistakes and and things could even go just catastrophically wrong with the rv mm -hmm. and we still have our home and you know mm -hmm. we it's not like it's it, it's bad but it's not as bad as it could be if this was our home only right option it was storming yeah, so was hard last night and i kept hearing a drip 
drip, yeah. drip. I don't know how she heard that because, I mean, it was flooding. Well, besides not being able to sleep that great because of the bed, I mean, I was in a pretty heavy sleep. Yes. And I wanted to be like, oh, wake up. Like, go check the doors. Go check outside. And I guess squirrels were running on our roof, too, because I could hear, like, Brrr. And every time that our kids would move on the other end of the RV in their beds, I would feel it shake over here in our room. And so I was like, what is that? And I didn't realize that until this morning, mm. until I saw our son like moving around in bed and that I felt the movements that I was like, that's what that was. Leveling is another thing <laughs> we just discovered. Our RV is leaning to, if you're- We're leaning this way a little bit. Yeah, we're leaning that <laughs> way. It depends on what side you're standing, but it's we're leaning that way just a little bit. Um, and we do have the Anderson leveling blocks or Anderson chalks, whatever what you want to call them. Um, but, uh, I think okay. we just realized that we didn't have to use them both on the left and right side of the RV. We could have just used the one side to raise the RV just an inch or so, and um, and then we could have just chopped the other side, and that would have been probably perfect. Just um, beginning beginners yeah, errors, maybe maybe you know? mistakes, yeah. um, stuff like that. So we'll show you at the next the next time we do it um, how to properly level the RV. If you guys have any questions right now about how our but our RV in particular, how um, it's working out with a family of four, um, anything that maybe we didn't discuss or that you would like to know more about, uh, mm -hmm. please leave us a comment and we'll be happy to, to answer those mm -hmm. questions for you. See you next time. All right, talk to you later, bye. Bye.